Hi guys and welcome back to Caterpillar Cross Stitch. In today's video I wanted to talk to you all about our enamel magnetic needle minders. I often get asked what is a needle minder, why do I need it, what's it for, how is it made, so I thought I'd just go through all of the main questions today and give you a better understanding and idea of how our needle minders are manufactured, why they're different, why they I think that they're an essential item for any stitcher, not just cross stitchers, embroiderers, sewing, anything that involves a metal needle and show you the collection and show you a bit more about how they're made. If you're new around here, then hi, I'm Sally. I'm the designer and owner at Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So welcome to this channel. I would love to have you stick around. So if you love anything to do with cross stitch or want to learn more and find out more about this amazing craft, then please do click the big red subscribe button below so that you can join this amazing community of stitchers here. Please do leave me a comment below if you've got any questions at all about needle minders in particular or about anything to do with stitching or this business or me or the products or whatever you like and give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this kind of content because then I can see that you like it and I know which videos to make more of for you. So what exactly are needle minders for when it comes to cross stitching? Essentially it's a small gadget if you like to make sure that your needle is completely safe at all times. So when you're doing your cross stitching if you need to go to the toilet, make a drink, put the needle down at any time for anything, go on your phone, change the TV channel, answer the door. If you need to stop stitching and you're, you finish a stitch or you need to change the colour of your thread, you're going to need to put that needle down. Now, however careful we might be, there's always a needle that gets lost in the carpet, in our clothes. I used to put them like on a table or in the side of the sofa or like in my jeans and then you forget where they've gone. I mean, they're so tiny and thin that they get lost really, really easily. And then one, it's really frustrating because you're halfway through stitching that you were enjoying and now you've got to stop and just waste your time looking for this needle. Um, so they attach to the fabric using magnets. You can either put them on the edge of your fabric or you can put them on the sofa or something else that is fabric and you can put a magnet either side. So essentially, imagine it like a burger. You've got the hard piece of enamel at the top, then there is a magnet which is glued onto the back of that piece of enamel with the strongest glue known to man. Um, and then there's another piece of the magnet that goes underneath the fabric. So underneath the fabric, you've got the one small half of the magnet, if you like. On top of the fabric, you've then got the other half of the magnet and glued to that on the top to basically give you a larger surface area to stick your needle to. And also, it's really cute and kind of pretty. Um, you've got this decorative, shiny, hard enamel layer um, in loads of different designs. People can have them in... Uh, I don't know kind of what books you enjoy, what TV shows or films you like, anything you're into. You can have them as like initials or animal. I mean, there's so many different designs out there. So just Google needle minders if you're interested. There's loads on Etsy and there's loads on the internet. So here at Caterpillar Cross Stitch, we have seven different needle minder designs. The main ones I have designed to complement each of the stitch alongs. If you don't know what a stitch along is, I will pop a link in the description box below to that video as well. Um, so there's different themes to the cross stitch kits essentially. So there is a an autumn Halloweeny type one. Um, so the needle minder to go with that is a pumpkin. There is a summer holiday like a seaside cross stitch kit, and the needle minder to go with that is a set of three beach huts. There is a round the world sort of travel map cross stitch pattern called Adventure Awaits, and the needle minder for that is a globe with an aeroplane going round. There is a cakes and sort of afternoon tea baking cross stitch kit and that has a little cupcake and then also for the second Christmas stitch along uh, which was called the 12 days of stitchmas which was kind of a tree pattern and it had loads of baubles all representing the 12 days of Christmas, um, partridge in a pear tree for a Christmas one. We've also got the Carlos the Caterpillar Needle Minder. Carlos is the name that we've given to our logo. Um, so you can buy him as a needle minder as well. And on his back it says Stitch by Stitch, which again was voted for, I think, by you guys, the stitchers, uh, as kind of like a motivational, keep going, just one stitch at a time, stitch by stitch, and you'll get there. We also have a charity needle minder which has the slogan, Be Brave, Be Strong on it. 
that was voted for by you guys, the Stitchers, in the Facebook group, which I will link down below. Um, £2 from the sale of every one of those needle minders goes directly to Cancer Research UK. And we also have a brand new charity needle minder coming out really, really soon, which is in aid of Mind, the mental health charity. Um, again, go to the Facebook group if you want to find out a bit more about that, because there's been a few polls recently and a bit of chat about that over there. So all in all, that is now eight different needle minders that I've designed. Um, so head over to the website, caterpillarcrossstitch.com, if you want to have a look at them and find out a bit more. Um, but essentially, if we take a closer look at the needle minders from the reverse then, you can see the back of the um, hard enamel needle minder, the top section, and then you can see that it's stamped with the Caterpillar Cross Stitch name, so you know it's genuine item and you know that you're sure of its quality. You can see the one half of the super strong magnet. I think these are some of the strongest magnets that you can pretty much get uh, without it kind of being dangerous. Um, so that is really, really securely glued onto the back of the needle minder. Um, again, this is the strongest glue that I could find that is actually for sale in England. And then you can see the other piece of the magnet that just attaches on the back. So when you receive the needle minder, then it comes presented on this really cute backing card. So it tells you it's a magnetic needle minder, and then it's got all of our details on there underneath. And it's presented on there sort of how it would be put onto the fabric with one magnet behind and one magnet on the top. And then if we take a look at the top section of the needle minders, you'll see they're really shiny, really glossy. You've got this beautiful shiny gold outline and then you've got the detail with the text or the imagery of whichever one you choose. Also I should mention that the colours used in all of these have been specifically hand chosen by me to exactly match the DMC thread colours that we use in the cross stitch kits. So for example if you look at the cut cake needle minder and then you compare that to the happiness is homemade cake cross stitch kit you'll see that the red, pale pink, lilac yellow and the pale blue match exactly on the needle minder to the threads in the pattern. Likewise with the Adventure Awaits Globe needle minder which is a great idea if you want to give someone a gift and they're moving to another country or they're just going off traveling or on holiday or something or in fact just love traveling in general. Um, the navy blue, bright blue, the bright green and the pale pink again match exactly to the main thread colors used in the Adventure Awaits pattern. So I hope that gives you a better understanding of what a needle minder is and what it's used for. Um, the needle sits on top of the enamel section and just keeps it securely in place. The magnets are so strong underneath that anything metal that you put on top, it's almost stuck. I mean, it's not glued, but you know, it may as well be so that when you, you can put your stitching down, put your piece down, go and do whatever you've got to do, come back and it's there ready. I think sometimes if you put the needle actually then through the fabric, it can sometimes stretch those particular squares or that section of the ADA in particular um, that you're working on and then you might be able to see like a bit of a stretched hole where the needle's gone in um, and if it stayed there for quite a while as well, um, it can then potentially leave a mark. But this way if you have the needle minder on the corner of the fabric, out of the way or at the side of the hoop or frame, you're not going to see that fabric anyway, it's not part of the main pattern. I also wanted to mention that the Be Brave Be Strong needle minders have been so popular that I am also now releasing them as an enamel pin badge. So you'll be able to actually wear them on your jackets or bags or anywhere really. Um, so that will be like a normal badge, a normal pin with a sharp piece that goes through your fabric and then like a, a backing stopper thing. Um, and two pounds from the sale of all of those will also go to Cancer Research UK. I think the first um, donation was just over £200 and I will be donating every couple of months or so. So there's another one I'll be calculating soon which will probably be around another £200, £300 um, to go to Cancer Research which is amazing. Thank you so much everyone who has bought one. Um, there is a copy of the letter and certificate and stuff that they sent the first time round on Instagram 
is instagram.com forward slash caterpillar cross stitch if you want to go and follow us there um, and have a look at some of the details and kind of behind the scenes things really so i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching guys i hope this has given you a better understanding and just idea about needle minders in general um, let me know in the comments below have you got any needle minders where is your favorite place to get them from have you got one that kind of means something in particular to you or did someone buy you one once as a gift let us know in the comments and we can all chit chat about our favourite ones. Um, so yeah, please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of thing and you want to join this awesome stitching community. Have an amazing week and I will see you next time.